Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a controller like the line. If you guys haven't seen it, I will leave a link in the description down below where you guys can go check out the game yourself. But basically you're trying to control an object with the movement of your finger down at the bottom of the screen. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to make that in this game in this tutorial with Objective C in Xcode 5. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, so to get started, let's go ahead and open up Xcode. Let's create a new Xcode project. And here we're going to make it a single view application. Our product name, we're just going to call this line controller as we are just making the controls of, of the line, not the actual gameplay itself. So we're going to say line controller next and create. And now let's go on over to our, I'm just going to maximize this real quick. And now let's go on over to our view controller.h file. And we're going to say open curly brackets, enter, close curly bracket. And we're going to say IB outlet UI image view and say star person. And now let's go on over to our main.storyboard. And here we're going to create an image view and just click and drag that onto our scene. And it, and it should fill the whole screen. Now let's go ahead and click that image view from the top middle and make it so it's a height of 100 and, of, and a width of 320 so that it covers just the bottom of the screen. And this will be the region in which you click so the image moves. All right, now let's go on over to, go on over and click another image view onto our scene. And this will be our actual person. So let's go ahead and Make the width of them 50 and the height of them 50. All right, now let's click and drag him into his proper position and click on our UI image view now and at the bottom. And we'll change the background and we'll just make it green. It really doesn't matter. And then we'll also change the color of our person. We'll just make him a dark gray color. All right, now let's go on over to our viewcontroller.h file. I'm sorry, we already did that. Let's go on over to our viewcontroller.m file, and here we're going to say dash, open parentheses, void, touches, began, and right after you tab that all in and get it all set up, say open curly bracket, enter close curly bracket, and we're going to say And we're going to say UI touch, UI touch star touch equals event, sorry, open bracket event all touches and close the bracket. And right after that, say any object. So if it touches any object in the scene, then it will measure where in the scene it is. And then later on, we will make this into a variable that we can actually use. So let's just say CG point, say CG point, and this will be location equals, equals open bracket, say touch all, uh, touch location in view and it'll be touch touch dot view touch dot view and end it with a semicolon so what this is doing is it's actually changing this into a cg point which will be something that we can actually read which the computer can actually read and set it onto our scene properly and now let's go on over and just say if so if tab our condition will be location dot y is greater than or equal to and let's go on over to our main dot storyboard and here click on our ui image view and we're going to make go to our size inspector right over here and we're going to change the origin so basically the origin is where where the points are being measured so if it's clicked down here it's measuring from down here and if it's clicked right here it's clicking right it's measuring from right there. So we want to change it to measure from right there. So this will be the point in which in which uh, once you go down below there, uh, once you click on, uh, on this region, then the UI image view will change. Now let's go on over to our view controller dot m file and make sure to copy the y value that we have right here. So 
go back over to our viewcontroller.m file and say if location.y is greater than or equal to and just paste the 468 or the y value that you had in your last in the main in the main dot storyboard and let's go on over and just change the statements so let's say person and let's put them in, him inside brackets and say person set center and we will make the cg point so cg point make our x value will be location dot x and our y value will be person dot y I'm sorry person dot center dot y and then end it off with a semicolon and now all this is going to do is it's uh, when the touches begin just below where you want it then it will move but when you drag it along the scene as you do in the line, then nothing happens. So let's go ahead and just say dash, right outside of everything, say dash void, and say touches moved, open curly bracket, enter close curly bracket, then copy and paste everything that we have up there just into the touches moved. Now you want to go over to our main dot storyboard and here we're going to open up our assistant editor and connect our viewcontroller.h file. So go ahead, go up here and click on viewcontroller.h and connect our person with our person image view down here. Now when you do that, now let's build and run at our 4 inch retina phone and say, and let's build and run it, see if it works. All right, now as you can see that it loaded, when you click on this region down here, the image moves as it does in the line. And when you click on any region up here, nothing happens. Anyway, guys, that's it for this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you guys want to see more tutorials from me, be sure to subscribe. And if you guys have any comments or suggestions on how I make these tutorials, be sure to leave that down in the comment section down below. If you guys want to know more about me, be sure to check out my website and check me out on Twitter. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one.